Hello, District 6990. I would like to uh, offer a few comments on what has been going on because I think it's important that we really have opened up communication. Um, first of all and foremost, be safe. Follow CDC and your local restrictions and guidelines. They're critically important. And remember that we are here to help you. Uh, that's whoever at the district level, please feel free to call on us. In your clubs, I'd like you as members and your club leadership, please talk. Members, speak up. You have good ideas about how to make your club vibrant and, and presidents and boards. Listen, try new things. It's important that we stay in constant contact and make our clubs more, more vibrant. Going forward, we want to really encourage you to adapt and use Zoom uh, to open up virtual communication with your members. We would like you to uh, make sure that you, use, you, you have your, your club meetings weekly on Zoom. Now, some of the small clubs may try to continue to meet, but I think almost every club is going to wind up going to virtual meetings. Meet weekly. Have your board meetings on Zoom. Have your committee meetings on Zoom so that you get really you, everybody used to using it. And a good idea, I think, that's come up is start to have evening socials. And I don't know what evening you want if you, you know you can't go out and have socials now. So maybe have a five at 30, six o'clock, five o'clock and encourage happy hour conversation and, uh, and, and libations. Make it fun to get together. Now, uh, as far as your virtual meeting, your Zoom board meeting or uh, uh, club meeting, invite local uh members of your government to tell you what's going on inform your, your your membership of what's going on get your hospitals your health care providers get somebody you know to come in and let you know what really is going on and all the hype that you you know you, you see on t tv or the radio uh, use these people wisely Talk to re local retailers. They could probably tell you some interesting stories about how they're struggling and how they're trying to cope. Keep it fun and interesting for your members. As far as speakers are concerned, right now the district people, the district has people who are anxious to help you out and talk to you. Talk to membership. Um, uh, Robert is there to help you. Foundation, we've got people who can talk to you about the foundation, what's going on there and education and, and the like. Uh, use the Rotary Learning Center. It has some great material that would be very applicable and appropriate to have it as a, as a, as a meeting uh, presentation. You might think about uh, your public image and social media. How do you use that more effectively uh, within your club? And again, Barbara Gobi, uh, Michael Kesti are, are there to help you. Um, also, TED Talks, and some of you, I'm sure most of you have seen those in the past, find some that would be topical and interesting to your members. And by the way, after the end of the TED Talk, the best part of them is use your, your Zoom audience, get together and talk about what it means and how to apply it. An idea that has come up, and people have really liked it, is a thousand acts of kindness. Make that a challenge to your, your membership on what they are doing and, and have your meetings, have people report on some of the more unusual or uh, you know, things that just made them feel really good that they were able to do. Reach out to your community. Reach out to the people who are older and at risk. Whether, it, again, whether it's your members or the community, they are going to have problems over the, this, the next several weeks of isolation. You know, they can be a great source of, of service that you can, you can try to provide. Also, when you're communicating with people, use Zoom, or more importantly, use the phone, or you could even use uh, uh, the live uh, chat or whatever, but 
you know, communicate virtually, not by email, not by text. Okay, making the club stronger. We need to make sure that during this time, we use everything that we can to help increase the connections uh, within your club and within your club to the district. Again, offer socialization. And one of the ideas that has come up is crawling trees. Again, you have people kind of assigned to reach out and call and talk regularly to those members who may need more support. Many will feel very, very lonely, as I said. It's going to be a, a time when it's going to try a lot of us. <clears throat> and by the way, that's not only going to be your older members, at risk members, but those who have businesses who are going to suffer dramatically. I'll offer help and in, in, in consolation to, you know, to, a, to, to this kind of an audience. Our uh, Interact and Rotaract programs are really important to Rotary. We need to make sure that we don't forget those people during this time. Uh, they, we need to have you uh, specifically, if you have an Interact or a Rotaract club <coughs> that, your, that your club sponsors, please reach out to them. See how you can connect. See if they can help you with serving the elderly, whatever. Uh, maybe you can mentor them during this time because most of them, if they're students, their schools are closed. You know, you give them something to keep them busy and help draw them closer to you all at the club level. Uh, your uh, rotor actors, uh, maybe you as, as, uh, as business professionals, you could wind up actually putting together a mentoring program for them. And you can clearly involve them in service projects. They may have ideas about what we can, what you can do, and you may have some service projects that you need to, to do. But if you reach out to them, I think we can keep them more engaged in the rotary kinds of activities that are going on. As far as rotary programs and that are scheduled in the district, the district level going forward, I think you all know the district training assembly uh, for the fourth has been postponed for now. We will let you know as soon as something more definitive is, is decided. As you are well aware, everything locally has been suspended or canceled. So if you have anything that's <coughs> rotary related, please check before you head out to, uh, because it's already on your calendar. Um, the foundation planning seminar that's for this Saturday, the, the 21st, is going to be a Zoom meeting. So if that's something, this is planning and education for next year, please make sure that you participate and help us get ready for next year. We had been planning a major donor and Paul Harris Society uh, event at Marlins Park on the 3rd. That is uh, clearly going to be postponed for now. We will let you know if it's going to be rescheduled. As far as the district conference is concerned, you've got a couple of options. For those of you who are planning to attend or had planned to attend, uh, notify Ellen Blasi if you want to cancel and get a refund. It will be a partial refund subject to the 75% penalty. <clears throat> I might recommend at this point that you hold off. After the 22nd, we will see what happens. If the cruise line, RCCL, does not cancel our cruise, you will be able to get a, a voucher for a future cruise. You can then hold that voucher and do something on your own, on our CCL, or if we are able to put together a, a cruise later in the year that people really can get excited about, we'll try to see if you'll use your voucher to join us on that. We'll have to wait and see. What RCCL is doing now for people who have canceled their cruise, that they have canceled the cruises on through April 11th, I believe, is offering 100% refund. I think with what is going on, it is not unlikely that they may do the same. But let's hold off because that would be a, a nice way to make sure everybody comes out of this, uh, comes out of this hole. Uh, coming soon. 
Uh, we're going to put out a Zoom video that Barbara Gobi is putting together. That will help you understand how to get onto Zoom, how to pay for it, uh, and how to, how to manage it. If you have any problems whatsoever in that regard, reach out to your some of your district people, either your AGs, uh, to Barbara, or whatever. The, we are using Zoom extensively at the district level now and have been for some time. So I think most people at the district can help you, including myself. By the way, when you want to pay for it, use Glo Rotary Global Rewards. Hopefully you've already been uh, introduced to that. But if you go on Rotary Global Rewards and look at national offerings, click on activities, I think, and it offers a 20% discount. Use Rotary Global Rewards for a lot of things and you will save money. By the way, at Office Depot, I just did this the other day when I was looking this up, I now have a discount card for everything I buy at Office Depot because of Rotary Global Rewards. Take advantage of some of the district pro products and, and the like. And by the way, it, for your clubs, the district will reimburse 50% of your, your Zoom uh, uh, costs for this year. Well, that's what I wanted to talk with you about now. Please stay safe, work and, and, and connect, with your, uh, connect with your Rotarian, between you and, as Rotarians, and look to your, your community for how you can serve them and stay safe. Thank you very much.